and it rolls. All right, today on Jumper Cable Dads, we're gonna going to be finishing the frame, the bottom part of the frame for the 420cc bar stool cart, aka the butt rocket. <laughs> the goal for today is to get a roller, uh, maybe take a little break, um, get the, some gas and some oil in the 420, and do the first start on it. Yep, uh, try to get the first start under battery power. I refuse to touch the pull string unless we absolutely have to. Uh, if we get a little extra time, we'll probably take a little break, ride around on the drift track, do some, have some fun, maybe uh, do some wheelies. We can get some wheelies in today. We'll see how the weather is and how our time's going. Sounds good. Yeah, so let's get started. Let's go. Buddy, message me and be like, How many times are you gonna bend over in front of the camera? <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we'll get flat disc out. Let's grind at least on the edges so we can tack. Sorry. <laughs> a couple of our 13 subscribers are concerned we're gonna flip. It's gonna be top heavy. We'll do some training wheels. So I don't know if there's like a race league or whatever, but they have like spec builds for bar stool carts. And if you ever really look at them, they're full size stools. I feel like the wheelbases are a little bit smaller and they're a little bit taller. Those things I heard are very top heavy. It's not gonna be as high, it will be heavier. And, but it is wider in all aspects, so it's going to be a different feel, although I've never felt the original bar school racer before. I haven't run this yet. Uh, I'm going to put oil in it, put gas in it. I got a battery. I want to see if it'll start on the battery. And while he's doing that, just like last time, we're starting to get the weather. Like the frame. Maybe these things will just like melt away. That'd be cool. Are you sure? This one, right? Yeah. Alright, hold on. Probably should put the gas cap back on. Oh, I was just like so eager to drive it. You're on start and your gas is off. That'll help. Ready? Yep. I would call that a success. 
Uh, next time we should probably use thicker gauge wires. As you were starting it, I, I, know, I took it off. It was like super hot. <laughs> I could see it starting to shrivel up as when you were trying to start it. Oh really? Yeah, that's why I was like, I, right when I said something to you, is right when it turned over. So good. Remember, we're gonna put another bar on top of here too. I also want to offset it back a little bit because the spindles are gonna be angled back just a tad bit. Tag her up. Okay. Tag tag it up. front end is welded up we're trying to figure out where to mount this extra piece of one inch square tubing for the spindles. I want a little bit of a, a back angle on, on the spindle here. When I go to turn it like, lifts the front end up on one side. Okay. It makes it easier to turn with the lead axis. So we have a roller. Got a roller. When we first started, I underestimated how much work this was going to be. Today was a pretty successful day. We met our goals. We were able to get the roller going. So we have a roller. Um, it's very sturdy, very rigid. Yep, uh, exactly how we planned for it. <laughs> uh, I think we were we were talking before about you know are we doing overkill? Are we not doing it justice uh, by giving it more support? Um, I think we're meeting the mark right now um, for the power and the weight that it has. It's going to be strong enough. Uh, I guess only the future will really tell us, you know, but so far this roller, you know, feels really good. You know, it it doesn't it doesn't bow too much, it doesn't feel like it's flexing on us a whole lot. Um, it's got all the great, you know, characteristics that you want. I guess on a bar stool cart. I don't know what a bar stool cart feels like, but <laughs> Yeah, I've never ridden one. <laughs> uh, we also got the Got some oil and some gas in the 420 today, and we were able to do our first uh, start on it. Yeah. Uh, we used the battery. We almost fried some cables doing it. They weren't a thick enough gauge, but it started just enough time as the battery or the cable started shriveling up. Uh, so I would say today's been a pretty successful day. As always, don't forget like, comment, subscribe, and share. Please, please share. Thanks for watching. All right.